how to create your own free AI function without Copilot in Excel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to grok.com and that's gonna get us our free API. Once you're signed up, you go into the API keys and create a brand new one. Give it any name you want, click submit and copy that. We're gonna keep that on the clipboard. We're gonna go into the developer and visual basic and add a brand new module. We're gonna write our function ask AI. It's gonna be the function name, user questions, the question. HTTP as an object, JSON body, along with JSON text, and both strings. The HTTP object, we're going to create that object. So we're going to use the MSXML2. We're going to create a server on that 6.0. Once we do that, we're going to set up that JSON body. We're going to use the brackets. We're going to set the model. We're going to use a Gemma, which is really good, 29BIT. We're also going to set the temperature. We'll set it low, so around 0.2. And also we want that user message, which is gonna be our question. So we're gonna set the role as a user, and then our question is gonna go in as the content. Once we do that, we need to send all that information. So we're gonna use an HTTP to do that. The dot open, we're gonna post that question using the URL API grok.com and then OpenAI version one chat. So when we do that, we're gonna set it to completions and we also wanna wait for it to respond. We're gonna set the request header. We've got two of them. The first one's content type application JSON. And the second one is our bear, which is our API key. So we're gonna set that second request header based on the authorization of a bear I key. So authorization, then bear, and then we're gonna paste in that key right there. Once we do that, we're gonna send that off to the JSON. So then all we need to do is get the response. We're gonna put that response in JSON text the HTTP request. Now, once we get the response, it's gonna look something like this, but I only wanna grab the content, such as this Michigan, without any new lines. So we need to parse that. We're gonna use that response in the ask AI. We need to replace a few things in case we don't want some characters. We're gonna use the mid function to just extract what we want using the in-string text and content. We're looking for that content in the response. We're gonna use the in-string to find the beginning and the end of it, also the end of the content. So we're gonna grab that. We're gonna subtract out anything that we don't want. We also want to find the end of that string, so we're gonna use that content once again to find the end of it. Also, we want to take out any characters that we don't want, so such as the backslash n, or even the return character, which is character 34, so we can remove those. And that's it, our custom function is done. I've got one here. I'm gonna copy and paste it and add the equals, and you see our answers are returned right away. We can drag that down to any cells, and we have completely free AI function inside Excel.